The My Keywords feature in your Dib dashboard shows you what keywords you're currently ranking for, which ones you're almost ranking for, and if a keyword position has recently changed in Google. In this walkthrough, I'll also show you how to track your keywords so that if you add or change copy on your site, you can easily see if it has affected your keyword rankings. Start by clicking on My Keywords. At the top here, you'll see your website authority, organic search traffic, number of keywords and their position changes, and the number of keywords you're currently tracking. Down here is your keyword ranking in Google. Now, I personally like to organize from 1 to 100 to see which keywords I'm ranking and almost ranking for. You can also organize by how much a position has changed and the estimated traffic that keyword is bringing to your site. Monthly volume is Dib's estimate of the number of times people have Googled that keyword over the last 30 days. And last but not least, you can organize by keyword difficulty. This can be easy, medium, or difficult, depending on how hard we think it is to rank in the top 10 for that keyword. When selecting keywords to write about, look for high volume and low difficulty keywords first. For example, Acting Classes Los Angeles has a high volume and an easy ranking difficulty. Now, if you're a pro member, you might see a notification called a ranking opportunity that our rank guard has found. This means our system thinks your website should already rank higher for this keyword. The tracking feature is really cool. So once you add tracking to a keyword, you'll be able to see any changes over time and also receive updates as well as objectives and alerts when important ranking changes occur. Now you may see some keywords that don't make sense for your website. This white noise is nothing to worry about. Google often needs to fill the SERPs on lower rankings and we'll use results that are closely related to the user's query. If you get a message that says we didn't find any keywords in the top 100, that probably means that your site is new or there may be an issue with syncing your data. If your site is new, this is a great opportunity to start adding more content and building up those keywords. And if you'd like us to do all the hard work for you, reach out to us at sales at and we'll find the right plan for your budget and business.